Man. Race fan, Monday Morning Racer here in the Hero Soap Company. NASCAR legend car. It is a 87 Thunderbird. We are at Talladega. Talladega Super Speedway about to go green for 50 laps. Let's see if we can hold it together. Finally green. Outside gets a slow, slow start. And we're already wrecking. Well, not even lap one completed under caution already. All right, we're coming back to the green flag. Didn't even complete lap one under green. Let's see what happens this time. If we can get some green lap runs in. Starting off single file like they did back in the 80s in NASCAR. Going down the back stretch under green, that's good. I'm just gonna let it sail and catch up. I'm not really in a hurry. I wanna ride. I don't wanna really race right now. There's a lot of laps to go. And these cars in the draft are extremely loose. I just want to hang on, let the carnage happen, and be here at the end of the race. He got into the wall, I'm going to go on by. So loose, so loose, so loose, so loose. Gonna to go to the outside. I don't really want to be on the outside. Woo! Almost got that wobble going. Oh! Man, got through one and two. That was hairy right there. let him go by. I just want to ride. I felt how my car races and I don't like it. It's very, very loose. Just, just hang on to the back of the pack here and ride. Hopefully we can have a good race, get toward the end and see what happens. I really like that wild cherry Pepsi car ahead of me. It's a good looking car. We got someone in the wall. I feel that I'm a lot faster. But there's really no need to push right now. Just, just log laps. Get to the end.
That happened right in front of me. I saw it happening and I just mashed the brake even though I kept it in the gas to the floor and got around it. Wow. That was some good green flag running right there. That was fun. Rolling around through the trioval, about to completing lap 13 of 50 laps here in the NASCAR Legend cars at Talladega Super Speedway. Car number five for me in this race, rolling off fifth on this restart. Let's see if we can get another good green flag run going. Just riding right now, on a log laps, see what happens, get toward the end of the race. Wonder if that's gonna bring out a caution. He lost coming off a of four. And there it is, caution. Coming to the green flag, completing the 20th lap in this 50 lapper. We'll see if we can stay near the front and just ride around again. I want to get to the end. I want to get to the end and then set myself up for hopefully a win. See if that can happen. As you have probably already noticed, I am terrible at restarts in these cars. I am very, very slow on the restarts. Lost like five positions right there. We're just going to have to work hard and regain them. Once I'm up to speed though, I feel like I've got a bad fast hot rod. in this Hero Soap Company 1987 Ford Thunderbird, by the way, Hero Soap Company. MMR10 promo code, 10% off.
I honestly still want to just ride. These guys are getting rather racy. Oh, they are slicing and dicing all up in the front. I do not know how long this is going to last. I feel like I can move to the front right now if I wanted to, but I just want to hold on, run some more laps. a caution or not. Uh, he's coming back onto the racing surface. We're sitting in 10th here in the lead pack. They are slicing and dicing up there. I'm shocked that one of these guys has not lost it yet, and we have been put back under caution. Myself actually on the outside. I didn't really want to do that. As you can see, I made that pass not really wanting to make that pass. I feel like the car is extremely competitive. I just want to wait. Get through the, the race and towards the end have you know, that moment of, all right, let's go. out of the trial over there, really loose. Starting to loosen grip in these tires, I believe. And this has been a lot of fun under green, slicing and dicing, trying to stay to a strategy. Still a lot to go in this race.
almost three wide there for a moment, and that caused some folks to really, you know, kind of reevaluate what they were thinking, what they were doing, and it also brought some new players into this lead pack. Just interested in riding right now. Just ride. That's lap 30. There's 20 more to go. I still feel like we're going to have another caution eventually. Don't know if it's going to be here in the front or in the back, but I just feel like something... It's still going to happen in the time that we have remaining. A lot of racing left. I'm content just to ride behind the 22 right here. Keep watching everybody ahead. Got two guys popping it off the wall. Woo! Three wide. I popped it off the wall myself, but was able to stick it, stick, stick, stay in it. Stay in it. Hopefully I didn't damage the car too much. Let me get back in my rhythm. patient right here, right now. Go to the outside around the 21. Try to start making some competitive moves here. See what we can do. Having to put a lot more wheel in it out of two than at the beginning of the race. I went high, I'm high, but I don't want to be high now. 
Oh, a lot of wheel in it. I don't think I've got the tires underneath me right now to really be competitive. A load of fun this has been though. I hope it keeps up right to the finish. Seven coming in the block. Shuts the door. And I'm having to really, really be patient with them. held it together there. I got really loose coming out of the tri-oval. Do not know how I held on to that one. Let's I mean, I fell back to tenth. Let's get it back in order and keep driving here. is loose now. That right rear, I think, is gone or nearly gone. Well, the number four there being slower, being a blinker caused some issues. Hopefully get around them, get back to racing here. I'm surprised there was not a caution. We're down to 10 laps. Go time. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it, oh, she slid bad. Woo, 
she was getting loose out of the triangle again. Held on to her. I need the seven to do something. We worked our way to fourth, but the leaders have checked out. Coming to five laps to go. If we can hold on to just even the top ten not wrecking and the green flag runs we've had, I will count this as a success. I saved it. Got loose out of the trial again. I just had too much wheel in it, I suppose. Looks like I've got to make a pit stop anyway. I have, like, no fuel left. Did not realize that was going to be a problem. Did not realize that there was going to be an issue with fuel. I thought we were going to be able to make it on one tank. But, hey, we'll come in, we'll get the fuel, and we'll get back out there. Change the tires. Need to get the pit stop set up where they will be a bit quicker. Okay, go. Don't need all those optional repairs.
I will say this. If I'm able to just complete this race with just the little bit of issues I've had because I raced another Legend race here and just did not have a good handle on the car at all. These cars are harder to drive than you would think at a track like this as fast as they're going. So to be able to hang on to it, run up front, now knowing that I've got a pit, next time coming back here, pit earlier, get fuel and be ready for the rest of the race, and have some fresher tires toward the end, that would be a smart thing. But nonetheless, good run, good run for the Hero Sub Company, Ford Thunderbird, and had fun, that's the main thing. You're getting on i racing and you're not having fun. Reevaluate why you are i racing. Sure. We'll touch the wall there. Alright, last lap. Right now. Doesn't look like I'm going to be improving my position at all. Man, this was fun. This was fun. There it is, 50 laps, most of them under green. Congratulations to this particular room. That was a lot of fun. I now know in the pack, as long as that race went with the tires that I had, that I've got an issue coming out of the tri-oval. Never had that issue before, and that's why it was catching me off guard. So next time I race here, I know, be careful coming out of the trioval with old tires. Man, thank you for riding along. That is the NASCAR Legends car on iRacing. I was in the 87 Thunderbird, Hero Soap Company Thunderbird. Let's take a look at the highlights. Here we are, coming to the green flag, start of this 50 lap race. The 21 did not get a good start, I did not get a good start, and things stacked up behind the 21 and myself in the Hero Soap Company Thunderbird right away under caution. We're coming to the green flag, completing the fifth lap. Single file, just like they did in the 80s and into the early 90s, and for a long time in NASCAR history, did not have double file restarts. But, they started single file. Here we go, single file at Talladega Super Speedway in these beautiful Monte Carlos and Thunderbirds. Love them. Remember watching the VHS tapes years gone by of these exact cars, Bill Elliott, Dale Earnhardt, others in them. Such great racing at that time. So even though you start single file, as you can see, very quickly starts forming the pack. 
but it's a fast pack. Not everybody is on top of each other. You've got some room to move. You can create some slingshot opportunities, things like that, with these cars under the conditions that iRacing has got them in currently. So, for most of this race, honestly, ran just like this. I didn't want to be up in the front. I wanted to ride. I wanted to complete laps and then try to make a move. And I did just that. I got all the way to fourth and then lost control of the car, but also had to pit. I didn't realize I would run out of fuel and that I would need to pit. I did not realize that. I know that now. So next time we'll have to come in earlier, get tires, get gassed up, and make it the rest of the way because I had a lap of fuel left with two laps to go. So come in just a little bit earlier and you'll be able to make it the rest of the way. All right, we're coming on the moment of the second caution in this race. I'm back there in the number five, the black and white Thunderbird. Number 13, Mellow Yellow Car. He is about to lose it. Happens right in front of me. Gets loose. Tries to recorrect. Loses control. Slides right in front of the pack. Only takes out one more car. And boom. Barely nudges into the inside retaining wall. That was the second caution. Let's take a look from my point of view. All right, we're inside the Hero Soap Company Thunderbird. I'm riding along. I think it's inside the top ten. You can see the mellow yellow car up front. A guy is hitting the wall above me. Guy is getting loose in front of me. And here it is. I start woeing down. Still on the gas, though, woeing down. Make it through the second caution in this 50-lap race at Talladega Super Speedway. Racing along lap 15, there was a another caution. You notice that Bush car ahead of me, he is going to slide off into the inside wall, and that is going to bring out another caution. Notice he's there, he's there, and he's not there because, as you can see, he's sliding off in the inside wall, hits it, and goes off into the turf of the trial. So this is one of those moments where it's getting towards the end. We're about halfway, but I'm like, no, no, I don't want to get up in that mess ahead of me. I want to ride near it. I want to be close. But I also got people catching me who have no issue just getting up in all that mess. So I try to play it cool, ride around the top, maybe run the bottom, not get sandwiched in between anybody. And let's just get toward the end of the race. Also, I've never been this far into the race with these cars and in the pack. So I wasn't sure how on, at this point, 25 lap old tires, how it would handle. And I'm about to learn that coming out of the trioval with old tires, it will break loose on you even there. Lap 36... I feel like I've got to start making a move right about now. Start pushing forward a little bit. See what the car can do. See what it's capable of. I really felt like I had a good hot rod. I just needed to start picking people off. And it was easier to pick people off to the inside. So I start that move forward. And right there, tri-oval, gets loose, I lose it, had someone right behind me, and that was enough to get me around, somehow gather it back up. I don't lose the pack, I pick up at the tail end of the pack and get back to racing.
Rolling through turn three, now turn four. Coming to the trioval, I'm leading the second pack in fourth place. Coming to complete the 54th lap. And I get loose in the trioval again. I save it, but I lose that pack. I lose that draft. I had to come in for fuel anyway. I did not know that was going to be the case. So I've learned that in racing at Talladega with these cars for 50 laps. A lot of fun. And thank you for watching. I'm the Monday Morning Racer. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other motorsports content that I've got, such as iRacing, actual drag racing, circle track racing, dirt track racing, even a recent Why You Should Attend Bowman Gray video. Thank you. Until next time, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.